little prettier than most of us. Except for coral and pearl. <laughs> but, uh, she grew up here. Went to school at Beach Haven. Now she's back home where she belongs. She had a good life. 20 years. She went to Hawaii with us. Months, she was 11. Spent three months over there, my mom and dad and I, Nancy, Smitty, and George. All we did was have fun for three months. We had a lot of good fun. We were snorkeling, and she started freaking out and screaming and going wild and crazy. Nothing figured out what was going on. And Right over here, she was laying on the beach, a sea snake came right up out of the sand next to her. Scared the daylights out of her. Just and squirm, started squirming around and she, 11 years old, just didn't know what to do. She was just ah! <laughs> going out of control. And George and my dad ran over and tried to calm her down. Uh, with her when she was 17, my mom and dad wouldn't let her go. She said, you're too young, when you turn 18, if you still want to go, you can go. But you're 17. 5,000 miles away to somebody you just met. So he went on to Hawaii. When she turned 18, she got a dozen roses in the mail and a plane ticket to Hawaii from him. I had a wonderful time. One of the letters she wrote back to best friend, Sherry Johnson, it said, Paul and I are really getting along wonderful. We have a great apartment, a wonderful job. She was a cook, she was a waitress, worked in a beautiful resort, made really good money. She loved animals, plants, anything like that. She just, she had a decent job, a place to live, a beach close by in the ocean. She was the happiest person in the world. She, she was just, in, just, it's all she wanted in life. She wasn't afraid to work, she would go take any job, a maid job, didn't matter what it was. She, uh, we're real glad that her remains are back here and that we're finally found. We're not going to sit here and grieve or dwell on any of that. Believe me, everybody here and every, my parents and family has endured that for 35 years. And that's long enough. We're here to celebrate the good life she had, the wonderful person she was, and that her ashes are here. In a few minutes, she's going to go in the waters here. Her father, his ashes were put, and her older brother George. So join them out into the bay. A small portion of her ashes are going to Cocoa Beach, Florida, her second home, where my father, some of his ashes are also, and she'll be in both places that he was at. His Like Sam and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 